think the actuarial training um, helps you get involved in, in the details. I, I always use an expression, the devil's in the details. So I think it's very easy to say we're going to launch this new product or we're going to do that. And then uh, because I have this focus on the details, I sort of understand, well, uh, launching a product involves making sure that the systems are ready to do it and making sure that the pricing is accurate and making sure that the sales force is trained to do it. So it just helps you think through all of the steps that you need to do. The ability to take apart problems down to their lowest possible level of detail to understand what's going on is what sets an actuary apart from somebody else. Because actuaries are required to, to have such a broad background uh, we really are able to look at the big picture and come up with unique solutions that perhaps another professional wouldn't come up with on their own. And nobody looks holistically at all the financial products like stocks, bonds, cash, life insurance, health insurance, annuities, immediate annuities, deferred annuities with the different tax structures. Really only actuaries are in a position to, to assess all of that. We come in sort of as an unbiased expert where we're looking at the facts, we're trying to help them understand what the answers are, and they tend to trust us because we are this reliable, unbiased source of information that can give them a straight answer. We know the nuances of our own companies much better than someone else would and so we're able to better prioritize the risks to, to identify which ones should be dealt with first and then to, to help quantify those risks as we move forward. I've also learned never to just trust that things will happen to set up monitoring practices that so you're always watching, whether it's launching a new product or I'm now involved in integrating companies, um, making sure that companies get integrated. It's having very detailed plans and monitoring that those plans are actually being executed. I have spent most of my career working on how to make the system more cost effective, more efficient with higher quality. And so the way as a, I as an actuary have done that is to help people understand the potential for savings. In fact, I've developed some, some terminology that I use to help people understand how much potential is there to save some more money. And so I believe that as an actuary, I've been able to play a central role in helping people understand the process so that we can do something about it. The actuarial science involves such a broad range of disciplines. It involves math, it involves, you know, a bunch of computer science. I was in computers at work at, at that time, exactly. But, uh, you know, law, uh, you know, medicine, uh, all kinds of disciplines and so uh, statistics certainly, you know, so I, I was very interested in that because it seemed like it was a way for me to defer narrowing a career and, and I have to say that that proved to be because there's so many avenues in actuarial science, there's so many ways that you can take your skills uh, and now even more than ever before. It's a very rigorous set of things that you need to do as opposed to only relying on your work and only relying on your manager's perception of you. There's, there's something very concrete there. Companies have a, a, quite a high value they place on that actuarial qualification. So we see our students getting hired into many different areas and, and recognized for the training they've been given. Employers view the actuarial credentials as, as a very high minimum standard, that they know that when they get an actuary in the door, that they're getting someone who will add value to their, to their organization. You have a very defined set of exams, and you take those exams, and most companies recognize uh, passing those exams by giving you promotions, uh, salary increases, um, Clearly, you also have to get the work done and, and get the work done um, in a way that, that meets expectations. When you've passed a certain level of actuarial exams, that you are automatically eligible for a promotion and the opportunities came about because of that. It wasn't because um, your boss liked you or anything else, because the boss knew that if, if they didn't provide that opportunity to you, there were a lot of other companies that would. And so it allows someone coming from a middle class background to be able to step into a high powered uh, industry and be able to really make a name for themselves.